Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our L39 the ZA and we're looking at bombing. So before we get in the air, let's have a look at the bombs we can have. Here's the arming screen. We can have bombs on pylons 1, 2, 3 and 4. And we right click there, bombs. We get the Fab 100, a slick unguided bomb of 100 kilos. A Fab 250, the same thing but 250 kilos. The OFAB 100 Jupiter, this is a essentially a retarded Fab 100 with a parachute. Would you agree with that, Stop? Uh, sorry, I meant to say um, Hydrac. The OFABs are actually fragmentation bombs, so you'd usually use them against infantry and the like. Roger, but we'd agree they're parachute Hydrag. They are. Roger, and this one you can get OFAB. Uh, Jupiter's times two on one pylon. We've got a P50T, a training bomb, and a SAB 100, an illumination bomb. Regards dropping altitude, with SAB 100, we usually say anywhere above 3,000 feet because it's a, it's a bomb that's going to come down on a parachute essentially. It wants plenty of uh, altitude. Regarding the FAB Slick 100 and 250s, we're going to bomb from 2,600 feet AGL and the Jupiters, because they're high drag, we're going to bomb from low. There's no real limit to how low we're going to go, but it's going to be just a few hundred feet, basically, in a level bombing. The FABs, we're going to drop in a dive bomb, and the Saab 100 doesn't actually matter. I'm going to arm up with four times 100 kilo slick bombs. Stahl will arm up with the high drag bombs, so we can show the different approaches. While we're waiting for that, we can look at our controls, and all we're using today is we've got the weapon fire safety. This is the unsafe button for the trigger basically then we've got the trigger here then because we're going to be using some high depressions you're going to want to put your seat up and down if you don't do this it's pretty much impossible so we've got seat adjustment up and seat adjustment down that's our arm up so let's look at our setup we're going to set the bombs up now and talk about that we need our circuit breaker arms on we need to move the stick out of the way we need our launch on our asb gun sight on and our bombs on we can see that we've got four times bombs uh, these pylons armed and ready to go we move over to our weapons panel here we can change how we're going to drop the bombs we can drop them in a train singles or salvo a train is dropping the ripples so one after the other when you press and hold the fire button there will be 0.15 seconds between each drop and that is not uh, changeable as far as we're aware singles just drops, drops one bomb per button press Salvo drops all bombs at the same time that are selected. To select the different bombs, we can select the outer pair there, or release it, and we can select the inner pair there, or deselect it there. So if we select both pylons, or the outer and inner, that's all four bombs selected, and for us, we're going to do a train, so that is a ripple, and we're going to press and hold the trigger, and all four bombs are going to drop. If we wanted to just drop the two bombs on the outer in a ripple, then we would have it just that one there to press. Next, we're going to look at setting up our gun sight. We've got, so we've got a gun sight here. It's turned on. We need a depression. Well, I'll talk you through the profile of the bomb run. We're going to dive from 5,000 feet AGL. We're going to release the bomb at 2,600 AGL. So we can use our barometric altimeter here if it's zeroed or if not our radar altimeter. We, I'm saying that the radar altimeter might actually go high enough, but okay. We've a speed of 300 knots or as close as we can get to it. A dive angle of 30 degrees, which is actually a pretty steep dive. And we want to have a depression on the gun sight of 11. So mouse scroll wheel over there, all the way to 11. Now, the first thing you can see is that I cannot see the sight anymore. And that's where we'll have to adjust our seat and we'll do that in flight. So that's the bomb profile, that's the bomb setup. So I'm going to work my way to the runway now and meet Charles. We're on the runway now, I've got my 4 times Fab 100. Charles got his 8 times uh, 100 kilo parachute bombs. I'm ready. 3, 2, 1, now. Be careful, she's going to be pretty heavy now. Okay, Charles, I'm going to accelerate and pull off and go for my run, then uh, you can come in after me. Okay. I'm up in the air now, and I've had a change of heart. I'm not going to do a ripple or a train. I'm actually going to do a salvo. This drops them all at the same time. Now, the reason is, because I'm going to be going for a dive bombing approach, I won't really get any difference in effect with train or with ripple and salvo. The bombs are all going to essentially come down on top of each other, however I work that. So the ripple, the train, will only really separate the bombs if we're going doing a level bomb like Charles is going to do. So um, for that reason, I'm changing to salvo. I'm at altitude. I've got some hostiles just there on that road, the usual hostiles. So I'm going to about to head in. Trigger safety off. Turning in now. So we're going to look for a steep dive of about 30 degrees. Uh, 
And we should be able to get all of our bombs on one vehicle. Whoops. A bit more power. Okay, down we go. Looking at our ADI. We need to get 30 degrees. So we're going to aim above the target for a bit first. Now back down. Yep, that's going to give us our 30. Now wave 2600. And drop. Boom, boom, boom. Blast it. I missed by about 20 feet. How embarrassing. Okay, well, you get the idea there. And it did essentially impact where I aimed. I was just aiming in the wrong place. Okay, Charles, are you ready to head in? Yep. Okay, you head in for a ripple, a low-level ripple. Okay, Stahl's running in with his parachute bombs. Now, regards altitude, he can go as low as he wants. The lower he goes, the more accurate his drop will be in terms of longitudinal and lateral. But he has to balance that with ground fire. There may be ground fire if he gets too low, so that's the thing. Yeah, the potential is if you get a real delay to actually still bomb yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Pickle. Mm, Whoa, beautiful, Stahl, beautiful. Waiting for these little beauties to come down. There they go. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect ripple. Well done. Much better than mine. Actually, slightly off to the side, but you still got some hits. And yeah, as you can see, these these parachute bombs really go all over the place. I got hits to the left and the right of the road by <laughs> quite the margin. Oh, well, it's very good. All right, anything else you want to mention about bombs, Charles? Negative. Just what? keep practicing. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Right, I hope that helps, and see you later.